Hello Internet, I'm the Classic Nerd. It is up to me to decide if a game is worth playing or worth trashing. I love simulation games. I love game development games and I love business management games. Every now and then I try to take a look into the past to see how far we have actually come and that has led me to SimCity. SimCity is an open-ended city building game series published by Maxis for the PC back in 1989. The success of the game has sparked numerous spin-off Sim titles like Sim Earth, Sim Coaster, and of course, The Sims. I've never actually played the 1989 version of the game, but I do have it for the Super Nintendo, which is supposed to be very true to the source material, with only a few unique features added just for the Super Nintendo. Today, I'm going to be playing SimCity for the SNES. Like the last game I reviewed, this game has no real story. Well, I hope that doesn't become a trend. Build the best city, become the best mayor, and make everybody happy. That's it. There is a bit of a learning curve in first starting out. The game offers a practice mode to help beginners learn how to play the game. But I am a man, and men jump into things without even thinking! If you've ever played any city simulation games, then you will see a familiar gameplay pattern. The game is all about building a thriving city. You have to balance residents, commerce, and industry. This is very tricky and can easily leave anyone forgetting to focus on their budget instead of their citizens. When you start the game, you choose one of three difficulties, but the only real difference between the three is how much money you start out with. My first attempt at a simulated city was... Holy shit, why did I think I was ever fit to be a mayor? I've ruined these people's lives! Everybody flee! Flee the city because death has come for us all! <clears throat> Where was I? Oh yeah, I was talking about the difficulty. It doesn't matter if you choose easy mode or hard mode. The game is hard. Not the hardest simulator I've ever played, but it's still hard. The difficulty boils down to how well you can balance and juggle and plan ahead. The more residents you have, the more jobs they will need, so you need industry locations. You'll also need commerce plots to keep your residents happy and your industry busy. I can't express how easy it is to lose track of all your money because you couldn't balance everything properly. It is annoying! The best advice I can give to anybody is to start small. One resident plot, one industry plot. When you start getting residents moving into your village, consider expanding. Luckily, there is a bar graph to help the player see what is needed. The visuals in this game are nice. I love seeing the seasons change. It adds a little bit of awesomeness to the game. The rest of the visuals are equally nice, easy to look at, and you can tell what everything is. No dildo checkpoints in this game. It can't be unseen. The music in this game is very soothing and hypnotizing. I can listen to it for hours and be relaxed. It helps make the time go by easier. Also, if you choose to end your game, you are treated to an epic melody. The sound effects fit the city building theme. As your village progresses through its life, you unlock more plots and are given choices of what you want to build. Like should I build a casino or a theme park? Well, the casino brings in money into your city, but the theme park does bring in residents. So I'm going to choose a casino because money makes this world go round! Fuck, even after being super careful, I still end up running out of money. I thought I had a good grasp on this game. I don't think I'll ever become the best mayor. Remember when I said that the Super Nintendo version had some unique features? If you're lucky enough to make your city a megalopolis, you're rewarded with a Mario statue to erect in your city. If you are unlucky, then you will get attacked by Bowser. Bowser replaces the generic Godzilla-style giant monster from the original. All in all, the game has its ups and downs, but I can't say it's a bad game. Using the Super Nintendo controller is a bit awkward, I'm sure it'd be a lot easier on a keyboard, but it doesn't destroy the game for me. It's just another learning curve that you have to overcome. The added features are really nice. Seeing Bowser destroy your city is somehow pleasing. I never got to a Megalopolis, so I never actually got to see the Mario statue in the actual game, but thanks to the internet, I was able to see what it actually looks like. With literally 999 maps to choose from, this game has a ton of replay value, so I say play it. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then click the subscribe button, and as always, peace out.